Welcome back to M Hood Fishing, everybody. It is after one in the morning right now. It's a window of opportunity that I saw on the map. It's because of the weather. So there's rain coming early this morning. It's supposed to be. It might not. But right now, it's looking like it's going to. So we're on a bridge over a small bayou. We got two rods. We got two different kinds of bait. Let's do it. This bridge that I chose to fish off tonight has a lot of evidence of the fishermen that came before me and left their junk up here. There's bits and bobs of tackle line. Get that out of my way. I chose it for two reasons. I'm not running my light because there's light here. There's enough ambient light to make it an easy place to fish. Plus, if you listen, do you hear it? That noise you hear is a generator. Oh, we saw lightning too. Not sure if we're gonna get ran off by rain or not, but there is a generator over there running what I believe is a pumping station, a really small pumping station. Down here where I parked is the most interesting thing that was left behind by another fisherman. But if you look at it, see all the mud on that? What does that tell you? It's just caked with mud. It was laying here when I got here and it's kind of rough when I try to reel it. Somebody may have just pulled this up and left it here. It may have been down in the water, down on the bayou. I know people fish off this bridge quite often. Maybe somebody got pulled in by a fish or they dropped that. I don't know. But I'm going to leave that right where I found it because I don't need it. person who lost it might get a chance to get it back if I just leave it where it is. There are two main species that I'm targeting tonight that are very prevalent in this particular bayou that I'm fishing. And I have bait for both of them. Bullhead and gar. Not sure if we're gonna get into big gar. I really haven't seen any big gar here. Spotted gar, short nose gar. I have seen some very small alligator gar, but there is a possibility that we will get into a big gar. I put this night crawler on a drop shot rig. That's a one knot hook. It's just 20 pound test, it's, that's the line. And we're using a quarter ounce of lead, not a whole ounce tonight for this. Just gonna drop this over the side. Don't want it too far out because I wanna have that worm suspended above the lead. This is the bait left over from this morning session, the video before this one. Let's see what we can use here. To get gar tonight, we're gonna go really simple. We're using 40 pound mono, one ounces of lead, the knot protector, it's a rubber bead, the swivel, 50 pound mono is the leader just in case we do get into a big gar, but we're gonna keep our hook size rather small. We're only gonna use a four aught kale. I like using those for gar. And we're just going to use kind of a fillet style chunk of bait off a of panfish. We're just gonna hook it right through there, make sure our scales are off. We have it hanging like that. That will attract the gar faster than if it was skinned on both sides. To start, I'm gonna place my gar bait over by a veg line or in the margins, if you will. It's, that's an area that has a bunch of ambush points. It's a good place for gar to be hiding out, big or small. This bridge is one of those spots that a lot of people have. A lot of people have spots like this. Sometimes they don't think about them. It's like on the edge of the neighborhood or it's in the neighborhood. You know, it's not far. It's a place where you could just go to and waste some time when you just want to fish, but you don't have a lot of time to go far or you can't go far because say, you know, the sky could fall out any second. So you want to stay close to home. Sometimes places like this don't have the fish that you're looking for or the quality of fish that you might be used to. So you gotta think about what's there. You could still have fun in a place like this, like like this spot in the middle of the night as it is early in the morning, the wee hours, the, uh, the witching hour, that's really close. We're about to be a, on top of the witching hour. Hopefully things don't go upside down here or sideways, I doubt they will. But right now, what's most likely for me to catch or anybody that came here? gar and bullhead later on as we get closer to sunrise that's going to change a little bit but right now that's the main 
two fish. Now, I've never caught any other catfish in this bayou besides bullhead. No channel cat, no flathead, no blue cat, just bullhead. Ooh. It is two o'clock now. Oh, yes. I was thinking about checking out another bridge. Look at this. We got our first candidate. And is that hook down in there? We're going to have to see. Oh, this isn't looking good, people. I put them by the bag here to grab the hemos. And we're already seeing the tomato sauce coming out. We're just gonna have to hope for the best here. I had to leave the hook in, sometimes that's best. All right, so I put the bait up underneath the bridge for that, and that's where we got him at. We're going to wish you the best, buddy. See what it is. <clears throat> Maybe give give a little line out. Could be a gar, could be a bullhead. I'm gonna let him have his time with it though. Got him. I think that's a solid hookup too. Yes. Took a, while, took a while, we finally got a gar. Look at that, nice. Ah, this gar came up with someone else's line wrapped around him. Look at this, it's like a 10 pound test line. Get that off him. Nice solid hookup, look at those little teeth. Check that out. It's a decent foot and a half. Nice snap uh, spotted gar. Check out the tail. Nice. All right, I'm gonna let this go just like so. Right after I got the gar up here, something started hitting the night crawler line and stripped it. So let's go ahead and get that back out there. And then we'll bait up the uh, gar line again. That's a gar, I'm just gonna let him have it. Ooh. Oh, it's not a gar. That is a really big bullhead. Much bigger than the first one we got. That is cool. Look at the size of that fish. That is a... <laughs> it's a good size one. Nice. Nice. All right. Two bullhead, one gar. It only took me four and a half hours. Woo! <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And I'll see you next time.